Nationers, guess what I've been doing? Writing! Like a madman! I'm in love with every one of these 90,000 words! If you think 90,000 words is a lot, then just keep in mind that I've written this book four times already, and four times 90,000 is, um, mm. A very big number! You guys have probably already heard stuff about the secret Caleb book that I've been working on for the past year and a half now. Usually I can write a book much faster than that, but since this is the first book inside of a new series, it kind of takes a little bit more thought building the foundation for, you know, all the books that are going to come after it. So that's what I've been working on for the past year and a half. And right now, since it's November, which is also National Novel Writing Month, I thought, well, I've been writing this book for quite long enough, it's time to finish it. And I've been doing quite well. I've been obsessively writing from about... 5 o'clock in the evening all the way till 2 a.m. in the morning almost every night. So Banana Rabbit is supposed to write about 50,000 words inside of a month. I started off with 40,000 and then I've written 50,000 all the way through from the beginning of the month until now. So if you think about it, I should be done. But the fact is, whenever you're writing a book, sometimes it doesn't really fall inside the given parameters of 80 to 90,000 words. So I think I have about a week and two days left before I finish the book. A lot of people have been asking me, why do you keep the book secret? And that's because since I've written this book four times, certain things, you know, kind of change as I go along, and I don't want to go and announce that this character does this grand thing, and then in the next draft I decide that that grand thing wasn't quite as good an idea as I thought it was, and it has to come out, and everyone is waiting on that grand thing scene when it won't even be there. It's a weird feeling whenever you're sitting down and you're writing on a story and you're pretty much creating the past, present, and future of these imaginary characters, and after you write on them for long enough, a year and a half so far for me, for this book, you kind of get close enough to them that they almost feel like they're humans. And you can just kind of write where they go and what they do, and you throw them into interesting situations for your own amusement. Like you're god or something! Sometimes writing is almost a little bit like an obsession too at times. Like I'm so close to the end of the book right now that if I don't write every day, then I actually kind of feel a little bit bad inside. And there's a lot of other crazy things that I do whenever I write books. Like a lot of times whenever I'm typing out part of the book, I'm actually, unbeknownst to me, reading the words aloud as they are put onto the page. Which normally would not be that disturbing, except whenever I'm typing them out, I'm speaking with some sort of a strange, ridiculous British accent. The Highland Wales falls mainly on the snails. I don't know why! And then my roommate hears. So yeah, writers can be kind of crazy. Maybe that's a good thing. K-A-L-A-B It's his blog you wanna see And his videos will help you get by So make sure you subscribe